Cookie, back into it last Friday. Did you enjoy it? A nice bit of time off over New Year's and Christmas with the family? Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, obviously, uh, from finishing at Lee, there wasn't too much time off before I came in. So it was nice to spend some time with uh, the wife and kids and, and, and enjoy the festive period. Obviously, I had Christmas Day and Boxing Day off, so I uh, got to have a little tipple with the family on, on Christmas Day and, and, and really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Um, and we'll talk about the rugby. Obviously, a busy festive period for the Knights. As you mentioned, got a bit of time off around it, but a very hard fought derby win over at Rotherham and then a bit of a gut wrenching loss down here at Carnegie. Give us a bit of an assessment of the, uh, the two derby uh, games in December. Well, well, firstly, the Rotherham one was important for us. Obviously, we'd lost a few league games prior to that, uh, so it was important that we got we got some things right and we did at Rotherham. We ground out a result and, and a bonus point result in a derby is always a, a big achievement. So uh, that stood us in good stead, obviously, for Yorkshire Carnegie. And then you know, I thought we, we left some points out there against Carnegie and I thought that even with 14 players, the disappointing thing for, for us as a staff and the players as well was that we probably could have won and, and should have won the game. Um, we caused them lots of problems um, and when we was down to 14 we conceded some tries on the edge where uh, you know if a team's going to score points against you then you want them to go around you rather than come through the middle of you so um, there was probably more positives than negatives after Carnegie even though we lost the game and what was heartening for us as a staff is that the players was disappointed and frustrated to lose the game. Uh, so building on those positives, now return to the British and Irish Cup action this weekend, uh, taking on Bristol down at Castle Park. Of course, in the league, not lost a game, but uh, the Knights got that win at Ashton Gate. And of course, it is a big game because if you've uh, got a victory, it'll set you up in good stead perhaps for a, a place in the knockout stages. How are we looking at the game uh, ahead of Bristol on Saturday? Well, it's another game for us to practice. You know, what we've we've practiced on the training field. Uh, we're not quite sure what, what kind of squad that Bristol will bring. Um, with a, an abundance of talent, an array of talent that, that could bring a really strong one and a championship team or you know, they may rest one or two and, and bring some some squad players. So, you know, we're certainly looking forward to the challenge of whatever Bristol bring in. Um, you know, it's an important game for us, as you said, if, if we win this, it's almost qualification uh, before we head to Leinster. Uh, and if Bristol win it, then, you know, they play Cardiff at home or you would almost bank on them beating. So uh, it's a big game for both clubs. Uh, and of course, over the Christmas period, we announced one new sign in the backs in your division, uh, Leslie Klim. Of course, uh, come out first time he's played in the UK, first time he's played in this hemisphere. How is he settling at Castle Park so far? Well, he's storing out. Um, he's cold, but uh, yeah, he's he's a strong athlete and, and very athletic. And you know, we're trying to get him up to to speed with players and structures and calls. Um, and that does take a little bit of time. He's obviously in a pivotal position in the backs there at, at 13. So. Um, you know, we look forward to getting him on the field. Uh, he's certainly a strong boy, a uh, very quick and, and agile runner. So, you know, we hope we see the best of him at Castle Park.